Hello everybody, welcome back to Dose of Succulents. Today we're doing a part two on the cactus propagation. If you haven't already watched the first video, please go and watch that video. I will leave a link below. So we had the cuttings in that video and these are the cuttings right here. This is how it looks when it's completely scabbed. Um, it almost looks white. When you do a fresh cut, it still looks green. So you wanna make sure that the cutting is scabbing over as you saw in the video if you watched it i did uh san pedro cuttings and then i did this cactus a dangerous cactus uh that has a lot of spines so when planting these it's going to be a little bit more difficult so that's why you want to grab pots plastic pots or carpet anything that you can grab the top with this is a cactus that i forgot the name I forgot the name guys i'm sorry that's unprofessional but um this is the first cactus that i did a cutting off of beautiful i have about 10 of these cuttings that i'm gonna be potting up and 10 of the san pedro and if you watch the video i did some apuntia cuttings as well beautiful apuntia i can't find it i have no idea what happened to it i actually went on vacation um for 10 days and i had done these cuttings for about like another week before so these are probably like 21 days that they have dried but of course that of course these can stay longer without um being potted in soil um months actually but i've had some for months because that's you know you get lazy and you just leave it aside you leave it aside and you never do it but today we're doing these 21 days later and um, like I said, if you haven't watched the other video, go over there and then come back here. Starting off with this spiky sucker, I'm going to get the tip of it right in this three inch pot. And I'm going to get this six inch pot, add some soil. I'm adding about one inch or one and a half inch of soil at the bottom. And I'm just gonna place it with my left hand on this hand Whatever hand you use, your, whether you're a righty or a lefty, just gonna start adding some soil, twisting around your pot as you get it, just so you get it right in the middle. To pack the soil, I'm getting a, a, a Sharpie and just wanna pat it in a little bit just so your cactus doesn't tip over if the sand isn't packed in correctly. And you also just wanna pat it in so when you water your plant, the soil doesn't just drip out, it stays in place. But you also don't wanna pack it in completely and it's so it's super tight. So this is what your cactus should look like, wiggling it and it's not gonna tip over, okay? So I'm just getting a last little tuck and I'm gonna get a smaller one of these because when it's smaller and there's less space for it, for your hands to be in there it's a little bit harder okay so same process getting the cactus in here getting a four inch pot now and i'm just gonna add a little bit of soil again and getting it right in the middle sorry if it's a little bit hard to see this now i'm just getting my little sharpie highlighter and tucking in the soil right in the middle and with a tool like this it's a lot easier than when your fingers I know with succulents you can just go in but you don't want to like be stinging all day long so here's the four inch cactus now I'm going to be moving on to the San Pedro. Um, the San Pedro doesn't have a lot of spikes, so I'm just going to use it in this 3-inch pot for the smaller ones. I did a tiny San Pedro cutting, kind of diagonal. It kind of looks not too great. Let me see if I can get This one looks a little bit more straighter. So I'm going to get that in the 3-inch pot. And I'm going to grab it just with my hands because this one doesn't have a lot of it. So that's how I'm gonna place it. I brought the soil up fairly high since this is a small cactus. It's a little, this pot's deeper than the plant needs to be. So 
just packing it in with my fingers and I'll show you a top view of this right now pushing the cactus a little bit down and voila just make sure it's in the middle and when you wobble it it's not gonna move anywhere Okay guys, so these are all of them that I just potted up. These are the four inch St. Pedro's. These look so good. I am so happy. And I've never really had any of the small little buckets of the St. Pedro's that I propagated. So I'm happy I did some tiny ones as well. This is some of the cactus. I decided to do an eight inch with three of them just because I love how cactus looks with grouped in three. These are some six inches and some four inches. So I hope you guys love this video and thank you guys for watching.